Caddis Maximus here, this time with a review of these Sunix sockets. My cat doesn't care much about tools at all. All she wants is her treats. I did just do a video, and sorry about my voice, I'm getting over the flu. The flu sucks, I did get tested, it really is the flu that I got. And still have to do videos, even when I'm sick. I did get a few videos ahead, so this is the way I sound a week later. These were 35 bucks, pretty good price for a 14-piece metric set. I do have some other sets of stubby 3.8 impact sockets, but these are the 17mm hex drive version. They do have a little undercut so they can uh, go into special types of ratchets, but I just use like a little piece of paper or a piece of plastic to jam them in. Let's get a little closer look. I do recommend Sunex tools over the Astro. Astro is more of a power tool manufacturer that has some hand tools um, or a company. I don't know if Astro actually manufactures anything. And the Sunex one, Sunex is more of a, it really is a hand tool company that does have a few uh, power tools. And Sunex is known for having a pretty easy to use lifetime warranty really easy you usually can if you split one of these sockets you can just send them a photo and they'll send you a new one sunix is really uh, kind of getting a pretty good reputation about their warranty and they have real reasonable prices so i certainly recommend sunix over the astros it's just in this case the fractional sae ones from astro were cheaper than the sunix but the metric ones from sunix were cheaper than the astros and because of the warranty differences and the differences in the socket rail, I did decide to do two separate videos. The Sunex does use a little extruded aluminum socket rail, but it's a bit different from the Astro. The Astro ones, the sockets would kind of slide and rack back and forth. Uh, I have them right here, which I thought was a little annoying. You know, this kind of gets old after a while having your sockets just float around like that. So I like that they're just a little bit tighter and with the Sunex brand. And uh, tiny, my cat's digging around some shipping paper. I like the socket rail better. Keeps them from sliding around. I don't mind the blue. And what I do like is if you want to, you know, reorganize them or sh shift them around, they make it pretty easy. You can just have this little tab, press it to pull these end caps off. And uh, I thought that was actually kind of neat. I kind of like these little socket rails. Of course, they have eyelets on both ends, so you can screw them to places or hang them however you want to do it. The only thing I really wish they would have done is made it so that you could put these little, uh, see if we pull this off, these little ret retainers don't really, they kind of, they don't really fit in the bottom. So it would have been kind of nice to be able to use, if they had designed these socket rails to be uh, double sided, that would be probably the one improvement that I'd suggest for them. But it is a not a bad socket rail. Kind of a little funky getting these connectors in there just because the edge is so sharp. They are laser etched, although the laser etching is super tiny, kind of hard to read. And they are roll stamped, which is also a little hard to read, but I guess they're, I suppose they're okay. Some of the roll stamping is a little bit light. So I think the same Taiwanese company makes both the Astro and the Sunex. It's just Sunex offers a better warranty. Anyway... The other thing that's interesting is these are the locking style. Like, uh, Tecton has been really using these locking style. So these, you got to put them on kind of angled sideways and then twist them. Some people like them. Uh, some people don't. I'm not super fond of them, but I suppose that they're okay. As far as the overall length of these, depending on the impact sockets, these are, they are certainly stubby, 7 eighths of an inch tall. But we can see, I have a Craftsman here and then a Tecton. And then we have one of these. And we can see the Craftsman is just a little bit shorter than a Tecton. So this might be 35% shorter than like a standard full height. But, you know, your mileage may vary. That's the easiest way to put it. If we do compare them to, say, this Coke in here or this Laser Tools stubby uh, impact socket, we can see it's basically the same height. So if anybody's really selling... 3 8 impact sockets is stubby. They're going to be around 3 8 of an inch tall. Besides that, they are pretty thick. They have a decent cross-section uh, for the 3 8 drive. 
which is good on impact sockets. These hex drive sockets, and I have this power torque here. These are sold at O'Reilly's Auto Parts, and we can see these are quarter inch drive, so they can get away with this, and they're not impact, but we can see that the walls get pretty darn thick, and I've seen some styles of these where they have uh, split drive size, so it is nice to see that these are a little thicker. Once again, 17 millimeter, do have a through hole for standard impact use. I don't mind the through hole just because uh, this play, actually I don't mind because it kind of helps the, get the socket on the fastener just a little bit easier, surprisingly enough. And when you're ratcheting, if you're moving back and forth, it kind of allows the socket to shift and I actually find that to be just fine. Although if we look closely, well, there you can just see there. Now you can see the reflection of the inner wall. They don't have any undercut, so you really do have to align it with the hole. Once again, they have the little slot, so uh, you can get special 17 millimeter ratchets which have an undercut and a little ring in there to snap them in there. But what I've found is you can just take something like a piece of plastic, piece of paper, or whatever you got, and just use it to kind of shim the socket into the uh, you know wrench if you want to use it with a wrench. This is one of those long handle gear wrench double boxes, and that way you can use it. Uh, and it works just fine. Just wrap a piece of paper around it. You can even stick a magnet right here and that will hold it in as well. And that's kind of the deal with these, with the hex, the external hexes. You can use them in this situation. So what this gives you is a less than an inch tall, super short uh, ratchet. Of course, you can do this in flex heads or, you know, whatever you need to. Actually, surprisingly enough, <laughs> this... <laughs> holds in really well other than that not a lot else to talk about a lot of people do like these and they've been talking about these uh, you know hex drive stubby sockets and so it seems like Astro and Sunex are the, really the two brands that are really uh, pretty popular and so I did want to take a look at both of them and it turns out they're probably both made by the same contract manufacturer once again but Sunex just has a lot better warranty a lot easier to deal with they stand by their tools, kind of like the old Craftsman warranty was. And that's why I continue to buy and review Sunex tools. Because I know if any of my viewers buy them and they have one of these that ends up splitting, you know, you're more likely to end up splitting, say, this 19 millimeter because you're driving such a large fastener with a uh, pretty short or pretty small drive size, that if it splits on you, Sunex is going to replace it instead of like Astro where they're going to ask for you know, where's your original receipt, where's your proof of purchase, blah, blah, blah. Don't offer a lifetime warranty, in my opinion, unless you're just going to support the product. I mean, the only, I mean, very few people are just doing such crazy stuff like welding things to the sockets or smashing them under a train or something. Otherwise, when they break or have issues, it's because they're using them to do work and the companies should just replace them it's just getting kind of frustrating how many companies even harbor freight's getting tough and requiring identification and all this stuff even on cash purchases to get your warranty and it's just like you know get out of the business if you don't want to really you know stand behind your products it's pretty easy to tell if it was just something ridiculous once again such as welding or maybe they're drilling holes in it for some reason where it's just gross you know negligence and abuse and and, or it's just somebody who is, you know, using these in the diesel shop and had some stubborn fasteners. There's some, and had one of the sockets fail because they were using, you know, some super powerful 3 8 impact wrench on them. Although I'm pretty sure these will hold up. Sunex has always had pretty good quality materials, uh, even compared to the Capris. And I've talked about that in previous videos. The Capri impact sockets seem a, a little bit soft. And I compared them to the Sunex and the Sunex ones are more wear resistant. Not a lot else to say. On the smaller sizes, they do have straight walls, which I like, allows you to get in the more recessed areas. Little lips to prevent them from passing through the wrench. Not a lot else to say, once again. Besides everything else I've already said, <laughs> I think they're good, and I do like the socket rail. It is a pretty rigid socket rail, and I like that it keeps them all together. And yeah, these hexes certainly can be handy in quite a few situations. Just like the pass-through ratchets, it just gives you a much lower profile, except for these 
um, like pass-throughs, because of the, halves, the hex, you can just use a variety of different wrenches with the sockets. Just use a piece of plastic or something and shim them in there. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.